everyone, Jason60 here again, and we are back for a new game. This one's called Bloodwood Reload. Um, from what I've read and everything of this, this is a very... I don't want to say horrible game, but it wasn't well thought through. And this is just from the comments. Um, I have, which none of the comments leaked any spoilers of the game, it's just their opinions on some of the things on it, so we are going to try it out. Um, this may be a multi-part, because I think some of them took around an hour to complete, so we'll find out. Uh, in a small village in the central, in central Europe, something is happening. As the forest growing around, as the forest growing around it is containing something very different. Its wood is colored red, and it is a unique, and is unique within the world. This fact has not passed unnoticed by the world's largest logging company, the White Wood Company. You are one of their best men, and they don't hesitate to and they don't hesitate to send you to take over the exploration rates. Explore, exploration. Exploitation right, sorry. As you reach the village, a chill runs down your back. Your intuition tells you that you that your intuition tells you that this will not be an e will not be easy, and your intuition is something that has that has, so far, never failed you. Reading with my thought the inventory is I menus escape to combine objects, you must click in the first click in the first object, and then the cursor changes, and now you can combine it with the right object. Okay. Turn down my DP on my mouse here. Oh, wow. Uh, one of the things that they uh, other people mentioned, which I'm experiencing right now, is that the controls are a bit wonky. Um, yeah, this mouse movement is not fluid at all. Yeah, I think one person said he couldn't even do anything but move from side to side they couldn't go front to back or something like that oh, he's got some jump on him Frank asked, uh, hello stranger, my name is Frank Bates, I reserved a room for this inn. Hello Frank Bates, my name is Esther, Mrs. Esther, what? Eth Esther, Mrs. Esther, why have you come here to our village? Interesting, which two would you be interested in? Yeah. Is that a horse or someone gnarling? Village mayor? We don't have a mayor. The person in charge of the village is the parish priest. The parish priest. You will find him near the church. Your room is upstairs, but if I were you, I'd leave the village very soon. There is something strange happening here in the village. There is a very ancient legend that haunts this place. You can try to talk to the talk with Travis, the farmer. Maybe he can tell you more about the legend. Good luck. Here's your key for the room upstairs. Okay. Metal plates. 
very observant of you. Can I take anything here? Okay, I'm going to assume that's a horse. She doesn't not. She does not avert his gaze from the bottle. What? Nice stockings. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens when I go upstairs. Room door. Wait, how did he reserve this thing? Because it doesn't look like... No fall damage. Nice. But it doesn't look like she has a telephone. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sure how you reserved the room, but... Is this the right room? That's a lot of mold. Hey, there's a wash basin. Sweet. Artwork's not bad, though. metal oil lamp. Why did he have to look around the room? This is like his room for the night. Fire's lit. Everything's good. What's this door do? This door seems like it's been closed for a century. Looking by it, I am going to say that it is not for anything of importance. Okay, well, let's go to bed. Well, come on. I don't care. Get in the... Whoa. Okay. Oh, there it goes. That's a lot of stains. does not carry matches in your pocket. I carry a lighter. So. Oh, does that mean I can take this? I didn't... Yes, I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so apparently he doesn't want to go to sleep. So since... No. I wanted to jump down. I want to abuse the fall, no fall damage here. Okay, so we need to go see the farmer. Wow. Okay, apparently you can't walk and jump at the same time. Okay, I just did, but for some reason it wouldn't let me do it over there. I don't think I was supposed to be here. I definitely don't think I'm supposed to be in this part of the house. We just go right back out the way we came. So, where do we find the farmer? There's some blood red trees. Oh, 
Okay. Apparently I can't wander outside the town. Street light. Very observant of you. Oh, there's a slaughter cow. So this must be the farmer's house. Don't know where to go through here. Yeah, I never know when a, a lever or crowbar will come in handy. Can I climb ladder? Shall we? Can I take a scythe? Well, that's a sickle, not a scythe. Okay, let's try this again. This is not doing an auto walk up like the steps were. Come on. Come on. Oh. Old cart. Apparently I'm still walking. Okay. There we go. That's how you get past that bug. You just hit the menu. And take a beer barrel? It's open, yeah. I don't look like beer. Is that supposed to be beer? Because that's an I. Or is it spelled differently? Okay, over here. Okay, the wall, the boundary is drawn here. Okay. Wait, where the hell am I at? I don't remember seeing half this stuff over just a few minutes ago. <coughs> well, hello, Mr. Priest. You're not a very good priest. Also, your hands are a little bit wonky. You alright? I think your finger's broken. Yeah, your fingers are broken or you got severe arthritis. Loose oil. I need something to dig. All right, Mr. Priest. Well, we'll leave you be. I think I broke him. Okay. I also need a shovel anyway, so. Okay. Can I get up here? Nope. I'm a wanderer. I'm a wanderer. Okay, so I'm supposed to find the farmer's house because apparently I can't sleep right now. Oh, there's a farmer. Hi, Travis. My name's Jeff. 
Let me working? What? Let me working. Okay, okay, sorry, bye. That's a pitchfork. Hey Travis, your place is a little run down. Okay. There's another pitchfork. And another pitchfork. Okay, so we know where Travis lives now. Oh, already been here. Okay, so hmm. Wonder how I'll get back to the to the tavern. Is it this way? Must go to the town. All right, we got some poltergeist shit in here. I must go to the town. Okay, but I don't remember this shit when I went through the first time. So, oh, okay. Here's the end. Frank is saying, let me work, please. And then Frank is saying, okay, sorry, bye. Um, what? Okay, there's a basin. Yeah, well, I got a crowbar now. Apparently right click does the same thing as left click. Okay, um, and apparently I'm not going to be sleeping tonight. So let's go try to find some shit out. Anything over here? So, don't mind me, I'm just jumping from the top floor, not injuring myself at all. What's I looking at? Oh, street lamp. There's the beer barrel. Is that a shovel? I don't know, the graphics on it are kind of horrible. It kind of looks like a pitchfork from a distance. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I have a sample pot. I have a business card. So, it doesn't seem to work. I need something to burn it. That's my business card. It's pretty amusing. It's made with recycled paper. Okay. It is the pot for samples? That's not a pot. That's a jar. But all right. I got in here? Nope. How about back this way? Nope. Okay. Oh, hey. Now the priest has moved over here. 